My name is Herke Fontaine. Uh, I'm an associate professor at the Faculty of Psychology and Neuroscience. I use the creative form of PBL in uh, modules in the Bachelor Program of Psychology. The problem I wanted to focus on was that students in tutorial groups tended to look to the tutor too much too often for guidance. They didn't take charge of their own learning. And uh, there were some problems in the group uh, dynamics, especially free rider behavior limited cohesion that I hope could be solved. In practice, this meant that we had to prepare students for working without a tutor. So initially they had to spend time on agreeing on who was going to do what and when, on norms that would be set, what would be done when students let others do the work, and um, noting this down in a team charter. This team charter would help them create structure for the meetings that were to come. In addition, uh, we offered students the opportunity to contact members of the planning group while they were working on a problem. So they were just a chat away and they had the opportunity to ask questions in case that the uncertainty, uncertainty they felt was becoming too much for them. And, um, and then there were some, some minor tweaks in, in, for instance, the format of the problems and uh, the way uh, the sessions were structured uh, to make sure that students spent enough time on, for instance, reflection or uh, um, on the quality of the discussion. And for the latter, we asked them to make mind maps of the discussions and send us the mind maps. And the planning group then selected three good examples that were sent back to all students so that they felt a bit reassured uh, regarding what could be discussed in a typical uh, PBL session. We asked students to complete questionnaires before and after the course, uh, measuring team cohesion, motivating, demotivating factors, and um, this showed that uh, on average uh, students felt far more um, confident about what was happening in the group. They appreciated uh, the cohesion within the team. There were fewer demotivating factors like students who let others do the work or uh, free riders. And, um, in addition, uh, test results were similar to the results that were uh, obtained a year before when there were tutors there. And, um, and most students indicated that if it were up to them, they would like to have 30% of all modules run without a tutor. I really like the fact that um, it's difficult to underestimate the capacity of students to take charge of their own learning. Um, we initially tried this at the end of the third year in the bachelor when we felt quite safe that students were capable of doing this. And then we moved to the first module in the second year. This method boosts self-supervised, um, self-regulated, self-directed learning because uh, students realize that they are the ones who have to make group work pay off and they can't hide behind a tutor. Students realize that the PBL skills that they learn actually mean something when um, there is no tutor to guide them and uh, help them out when something goes wrong, like uh, when not all students commit themselves to the group work. Um, students realize that they depend on the group to, to get to a good outcome. So they tend to be more um, or less forgiving towards students who don't pull their weight. And they learn to address uh, free riders because it benefits the outcomes of the group discussion. Constructivism is boosted because students have to create mind maps during the discussion. So uh, it is important that they uh, engage in critical thinking uh, about what they're contributing to the group discussion and how that relates to everything else that has been said.